Hello friends, today I am going to talk to you about hand hygiene. So what is hand hygiene? Hand hygiene is a general term which refers to any action of hand cleansing. This can be done by two methods, one by using soap and running water and two by using an alcohol based hand sanitizer. Friends, the hands of healthcare workers are colonized by two types of flora. One is the resident flora and two is the transient flora. The transient flora colonizes the superficial layer of the skin of the hands of healthcare workers. These transient flora are vancomycin resistant enterococci, methicillin resistant staph aureus, multidrug resistant gram negative bacteria. These are transmitted from one patient to the other through the hands of healthcare workers if proper hand hygiene is not performed by the healthcare workers. This can lead to what is called as healthcare associated infections. Friends, healthcare associated infections are those infections which the patients acquire while their care in medical facility and these are not already present in the patient. The examples of healthcare associated infections include catheter associated UTI, ventilator associated pneumonia, surgical site infections, etc. What is the impact of these healthcare associated infections? These can lead to increase stay of the patient in the hospital, increase financial burden to the patient and sometimes may result in tragic loss of life of the patient. To overcome healthcare associated infections, antibiotics are used more. This overuse of antibiotics leads to antimicrobial resistance. Therefore, hand hygiene is an important element in infection prevention and control activities. It helps in prevention of the spread of healthcare associated infections and the spread of antimicrobial resistance. In 1840s, there was a Hungarian physician called Ignaz Philip Semmelweis in Vienna. He conceptualized the practice of hand washing with chlorinated lime and thereby reduced the maternal mortality rate due to puperial fever. Thus, we see that hand hygiene is very very important. Healthcare workers in our country should perform WHO's 6 steps of hand hygiene and 5 moments of hand hygiene and thus serve as role model for other doctors, nurses and paramedical staff. Thank you.